Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Episode 341, Volume 2, Sticks of the Week. I am your host, Joe Josepa. We have little Doc Yak here from Texas. Mr. Drew Gavin joining us. Nelson's in studio. And Brian LeBeau, owner of Church Hill Smoke Shop and Lounges in studio. This is the Sticks of the Week, where we talk about what we have been smoking. And sorry, Holtz, we have broken the uh, bundle up. And we are going to smoke the promo that I've been sitting, this is probably, for those of you who watch the show, I've been sitting on this bundle for probably five weeks now, promoting it. It's been in the humidor, so it's all good. Uh, just cracked open the bundle since the promo is almost over. Stogie Geeks, if you go to Holtz.com and use the code Oliva Geeks, make sure you click on the Oliva Mega Bundle. It's valid till September 30th. You get the master blends of three. The crown jewel of the Oliva portfolio right here. This, this debuted originally in 2003 as a small batch limited edition. It is readily available today. It continues the rich legacy that Oliva has to offer with their best-selling creations. Now you can enjoy this amazing bundle of 20 sticks with 74% off MSRP, $69.99 delivered to your door. Click on that. Uh, if you can't find the link, email me at joe h at .com. Use the, the promo code OLIVAGEEKS. It's about $3.49 per cigar. It's a great addition to your humidor. Check it out. It is the master blends. It's, it's a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper. Uh, Cuban seed, Nicaraguan long fillers. You will get notes of dark chocolate, molasses, leather, and spices beyond your wildest dreams. All you have to do is email me at joehstogeeks.com or click on Holtz, click on the Oliva bundle, and you get it shipped to you right there. So make sure you partake in that. That offer does expire in um, September 30th of... Uh, this year so get on that and now without further ado it is the little dark-haired kid from texas <laughs> who everyone wonders about <laughs> what have you been smoking all right we're gonna kick it off this week with some edgar hoyle oh Ooh. man talk about one shot one kill mm. You it's finally got those? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got around to, you know, sharing my thoughts on it. So I got the uh, That's one very shot 2008. One deal. But anyway. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Ew. Hey, the, the Cabron Sonito. Uh, ca Cabron Sonito. Cito. It's a 4x44 four figure out of uh, cigar. It's a triple uh, Nicaraguan. Basically, a, it's a puro. So uh, Nicaraguan puro. Uh, man, this, I don't know, so have you had, has anybody had these? Oh, yet? yeah, in 2008, and 9, Ooh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 13, 16, 13. all the way up to 20. All right, all right, well, don't be a show off, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always has to one-up us. No, I'm not, no, one, I am not a one-upper, I, I try not to be a one-upper. So, anyways, no, I mean this this is this is a very a very nice cigar. I mean it's it's for for for, for being this this the small the smallness of it, it packs it packs a full body uh, uh, burn uh, flavor into this into this cigar. So, uh, Nicaraguan grown long filler leaves and it's assisted uh, by the Nicaraguan binder. Very a lot of bold flavor that's for sure. Uh, the wrapper has a natural look with some pleasant aroma of pepper and dry wood. Uh, as touted by their uh, website, um, so rich taste notes, man. I mean, this thing is just full of, I mean, what I love in a cigar. So we got leather, we got nice notes of leather. We got some very nice cedar, 
uh, following that note and intertwining uh, as it goes through. Uh, you definitely got the white pepper, some spice, and uh, a hint of chocolate. Uh, nutmeg lingers in the background. But, man, you're talking about a cigar that just, you know, for the size. When I first saw it, I mean, I've seen these cigars. And when I first put it in my hands just a few weeks ago, as far as from the previous years, this is this is one I just wanted to kind of go through and just really dissect it as much as possible. Uh, it, it got me a good hour, uh, hour and 15 minutes out of this uh, stick. And just was enjoyable as as it as it as it can be. Uh, the burn is uh, very nice and steady. Uh, didn't have any relight issues. And, and again, um, just a wonderful. If you like a, a nice full body cigar, this is one that you can go to um, in a much smaller uh, uh, Vitola. Uh, my story geeks rating on this. I gave it a box worthy. Um, I, I'd buy a box of these, uh, which I have two now. So there you go. Um, Can we talk about how he went from an office building in an industrial park to looking at an office while blowing a 9.5 on the breathalyzer? Right. <laughs> Shit's all blurry. <laughs> He's not blurry. You're blurry. Right? <laughs> uh, it's, hey, it's the bunker, man. I'm at, I'm at work. And, I know. That's right, why we're trying know, to talk fast. I'm in a fishbowl, so I got I got glass all in front of people can see me as they're walking by like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> he plays some mix a lot. Just put him on Keep glass. Well, <laughs> that'll well, that'll land know. me in HR real well, quick. That'll we all, we all know office. that you've been wearing you've been wearing a flat brim hat way before Jonathan Drew. I can That's say right. that because you come from LA. So <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All what right. What you got? Uh, what you got? Well, well I'm gonna, uh, dude. I, I I forgot about this stick. Uh, last week's interview when I was talking to George Rico, um, uh -huh. and I dug through the humidor and I found it. I found the, the black grand ha, the Grand Habano Black Dahlia. I was like, <laughs> shit! I found one, and I found the last one. Sorry, Paul. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but I found the last one. He's trying to be like, damn, that was aging. Well, it was aged, so it was awesome. <laughs> it was so good. Uh, it was a Grand Robusto. It was a six by fifty-four. The wrapper was a Corojo Shade Grown Nicaraguan. The binder is a Nicaragua. Nicaraguan Habano. The filler is Habano, Nicaraguan, Cubita, Colombian, and Costa Rican. Complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it a 7. Flavor and balance, I gave it an 8. On a scale of 1 to 10. It's available in three different sizes. The Corona Gorda, the Robusto, and the Grand Robusto. I've actually had the Robusto and the Grand Robusto, but for the sake of this review, I had the Grand Robusto. In there, and it was exactly what I said when we interviewed George Rico. For you story geeks who are just tuning in, if you missed last week's episode, you want to go back. We interviewed Tim Wong and George Rico, um, two separate companies. AJ Fernandez, pair, pair uh, 28. He also gave us an update on some Espinosa stuff because he's a broker out there on the West Coast. And um, George Rico, no stranger to the show uh, or any show <laughs> uh, here. Um, and, uh, we, we, and he mentioned the black dahlia and I was like, Oh my God, I forgot about that stick. That stick. Let me tell you something. Um, uh, n notes of cream, coffee, and spice all day throughout the stick. A little bit of woody, a little bit of earth in the profile. Uh, the cedar joins in the end, um, making it well worth the trip, um, <coughs> for you to seek out these sticks, uh, here. Story Geeks rating, I give it a box split, <coughs> right? I, right? I, I, I totally give it a box split. Um, awesome stick. Uh, you, it's, it's just classic. It's just classic, classic George Rico. Um, if you missed the interview last week, he, he's such a, it's such a pioneer and just does his own thing and does his own stuff and m m marches to the beat of his own drum. And there, I know next week. I actually, while I was digging, I found some of those Zulus that he was that he was talking about too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was not aware that there are three generations of Zulus, and I have the second generation. I have not had the third. I had the first, and I had the second. I have seconds in the humidor. Um, I don't have third. I might have to go on a little bit of a search for that. 
there. But, yeah, I'd give it a box split. You see them knocking around. You could definitely get these online for sure. Might make you lo your, your life a little bit easier. Uh, as I do know that some brick and mortars, um, you know, uh, it, it's one of those brands that you really have to work at. And um, uh, oh, oh, where you go with that. But, yeah, uh, the Grand Habano uh, Black Dahlia, I gave it a uh, box split. Excellent. Would you smoke? I smoke the Romacraft. No. <laughs> Why are you breaking my balls? This guy has to stop breaking balls. Hey, uh, hey, if I'm not complaining, I'm not happy. So there you go. I'm like my mother. There you go. You're such a weasel. Uh, such a, weasel such a team weasel, six. Right? There you go. Uh, um, actually, I smoked. Uh, it's this week for me is a, a La Roma de Cuba, uh, which I, I actually really like those. I've been smoking the reservas, but that's not what I'm reviewing. But I've been smoking the reservas. Actually, um, Brian LeBeau's Churchill's Lounge has those, which I was pretty stoked about. You just got a new batch, and it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. He's fully stocked with those. Uh, but I did. I tried the Edition Especial Number One, uh, which was a Corona. Uh, it's a five and a half by forty-six. Um, little different than the um, the regular Reserva that that I really enjoy. Um, it's actually La Roma de Cuba. Little side note, you know, I always have little side notes. You, Dr Andrew, that's drives, good. Drives Joe crazy. Um, apparently, La Roma de Cuba. The, so they actually stopped. The Roma de Cuba at some point, I want to say the 60s or 70s, I can't remember now. Um, but it was a favorite of Winston Churchill. It was one of the favorite brands um, that he liked to smoke. But anyways, then they got bought out, and there's a new company now. So, um, But this one is, uh, as I said, it was a 5.5 and 546 Corona. Um, it actually came out this year, which was fantastic. Uh, it has a Habano wrapper around Nicaraguan binder filler. Love those uh, Cuban seed uh, Habano wrappers. Stays true to that Habano wrapper medium kind of, uh, of body. Uh, and it stayed throughout the stick. It was pretty much, I wouldn't even say it's medium to full. It's definitely like around a medium. Um, the cold draw, I got some, some leather and wood, um, which I never had the two together like that. Uh, but maybe that means I have to smoke more sticks. I don't know. Uh, so the first half, the, the wood stayed the, and the leather, but it actually uh, had some coffee flavor that came in there in the first third. Um, and then as I get into more, uh, more into it, the, uh, the retro hill had a little more spice mm -hmm. um, to it where I, I didn't have that without the retro hill. And then on the finish, um, the leather kind of came back stronger with some earthy flavors, um, again, some, a little less spice. So it was like a medium complex cigar. So for complexity, I'd say maybe it was a six. If I'm using the, the Joe scale, it was, a, it was a six for complexity. Um, as far as overall experience, I might give it like a seven. So I, I, I gave this one a Stogie Geeks box split. Nice. You've had that stick. Yeah, I've had that stick. Okay. Anything you want to add? No. No. You don't want to do a Julius Caesar like that or that? I think no, I mean it's a good smoke. Gladiator. You know, I mean, well, <laughs> I mean, La, La, La Roma de Cuba. You know, I mean, uh, most of the stuff that my father produces, I mean, it's rolled into my father factory. Yeah, you know, yep. it's it's um, you know, it, my father's a great factory. You know, but going back to Drew's thing with the Osak, um, if I'm not mistaken, that one shot, one kill, the original was made out of the CLE factory. Mm. Um, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a little uh, off the cuff for Christian. Sure. You know, at the yeah. time. But I do want to try that uh, Osak and Rojas stick that Underground just got. Yes. That's going to be a game changer. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> anything in Rojas. Rojas has uh, good stuff. Ro anything anything in Rojas, yeah. I think that's super oh. cool that, that they're doing oh. a collaboration. But that Osak was yeah. good. That was that packed a punch, Drew. Yeah. That does pack does. a punch. Yeah, Drew, I'm well, surprised uh, you didn't mention like, the white pepper component on that. I did. got a white pepper. He did. Yeah, oh, but he kind of did. He didn't. He didn't. I glazed it over it. I glazed over he it. Glazed I glazed over, over it. Because all, all you guys, because people don't know how to retro hell, retro hell as well as well, I. Well, it's just, it's actually it's a it great just, point. You actually brought it up. It's the same thing with Nelson's review of the La Roma de Cuba. Mm -hmm. it, the retro hell is where it's at with that stick. It if is. you if you don't retro hell, if you don't retro hell at all, that that that, that stick's gonna burn through you, and you're gonna be like, yeah, all right, it's all right. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you have to work. It's definitely a significantly different flavor when you retrohale. Oh, yeah. But it's a, it, do, it does tend to, you know, I, like, like I tell people, I, I, I'll do maybe three or four retrohales through a stick. It don't, don't matter the Vitola. I just, I enjoy really, really focusing on those nuances, the complexity with that, and then with my palate. You know, you know so 
that right there uh, is is the way to go with that stick for sure. Dude. And I'll tell you what, on the on the one shot one kill and uh, and uh, our friend No uh, Noel Rojas. Noel Rojas. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I don't know. What about, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all gone already. Just to let you know. So. Are they? Like, Drew, take us through like a, a synopsis. Like, give us like a like a trailer for the. What can we expect? Because by the time it comes out here in Texas, uh, here in Rhode Island, it's gonna be all you know. Nah, it, <clears throat> we haven't we haven't got our hands on it yet. They're gonna wait till they open up the uh, the new cigar lounge yeah. before we have. But we 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 did buy a few boxes of those just so that we could be part of that. Uh, you know, celebration with uh, Underground's new opening. Oh, when's that? Uh, 18th. I think October. the 18th of uh, October. Really? Uh -huh. cool. That's awesome. Oh, yes. That's super Oh, yeah. Cool. That is. And Edgar's a good dude, man. I mean, I've, I've oh, had Edgar in the shop. He's a good dude. He literally yeah. has, he's lived in, if I'm not mistaken, Mexico for yes. um, quite a he while now. And he's lived yeah. in the woods, like, deep in the woods, learning how to grow the tobacco, learning everything about the tobacco. He's a good yeah. dude. Yeah, he, uh, I think he's by way of Los Angeles, from what I remember. Yeah, and then he moved down then, uh, there to learn more yeah. about tobacco and stuff. And when he was at the shop, he was, you know, telling me that his whole, you know, he, he wanted to go from seed to, you know, mm -hmm. full cigar. Full cigar, which was great, you know. And an interesting backstory on him being, you know, that he was a photographer, so uh, did a lot of uh, edgy photography, uh, which that's what one shot, one kill is about. That's where that name developed from. You know, he would just correct take what you know, take take a phenomenal photograph. So edgy, um, like sexy, or. No, just really like urban, just really, you know, like just really gritty, you know, just, you know, people in real life, you know, or real life happening at the moment. Mm. You just can really bring that that emotion in that photography skill that he has. Mm. That he has. So he's just really, you know, that type of, uh, uh, of a photographer. Cool. All right, let's all do a stick each. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the flavor of nuances. Mr. Drew Gavin. All right. So I went back to <laughs> 1940 again. <laughs> 1940. Uh, here we go. Liga Pravada Unica Series L40 Lancero. Oh, so, boy. Um, you know, back to Steve Saka days, you know? Uh, back yeah. to the days. Back when you know? Drew was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. I'm sorry. Yeah, rapper of <laughs> Connecticut River Valley Stock Cut. And sun cured grown Habano wrapper. Uh, binder was Brazilian Matafina filler. You got a Honduran and Nicaragua uh, for the filler uh, made at the uh, La Grand Fabrica Drew Estate. So um, I've been on the little cigar kicks. So I've been on the Lanceros probably now for the last month and a half just because of time. I just, you know, I, I really love my Robustos, but. Um, then I'll pepper them in on the weekends, but during the week, Monday through Friday, with my uh, with my uh, route uh, commute, driving to and from work, it has to be the small cigar because that's all I got time for. Um, excuse me, one second. Got a little cough there. Uh, so this cigar here, uh, if, you, if you if you've had it, you're going to agree with me on a couple things. This thing is a solid smoke. It's uh, very, I call it chunky and meaty. I mean, mm -hmm. it just, I mean, it just really grabs you by the cojones and just like it, it takes you for a ride. And and if you're sitting in the right nice leather lounge chair, you'll be just fine. So uh, taste the notes on this was definitely a lot of dark espresso, uh, a lot of earth. You get the herbs that really intertwine. And on the retro hell, you definitely get that vitamin N. Uh, spice yes coming through I mean that that cigar just really turns it on which I really love about you know uh, the the blend itself uh, you get a lot of chocolate you get a mixture of cedar and then you get the meat factor in there I mean that thing just really it just really makes you feel like you've had a, a nice portion uh, meal with this cigar and I'm talking about just the cigar itself I mean uh, my drink with this one is definitely some tequila I got some anejo uh, nice sipping tequila, and it just it just complemented this cigar very well, and it you you just can't go wrong with it. So, 
Uh, this this cigar has has had multiple ninety plus ratings, you know, in its life. So it you know being that it's twenty twenty, uh, this cigar it truly is is a legend uh, for what I think in Drew Estate's profile. And of course, you know, started back when Steve Saka was you know president of the company. Yeah, and if I so, can add though, that it's a great after dinner smoke. Oh, it is. Great after yeah, dinner definitely. smoke where you had some dinner and you're hanging, you got some drinks, and if you're by the fire or if you can, if you had dinner and then you go to a lounge and you had a nice full dinner, it's a super cool smoke. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, my rating on this is going to be a box split. I'll box split these with a friend all day long just because the one, they're seven, <laughs> they're seven by 40. So, my humidor, I mean, I have to sometimes, you know, give them a little, you know, a little extra space, you it's know, like Jenga. In the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to lean them to the side a little bit. So, uh, you know, but uh, other than that, I mean, phenomenal cigar. You can't go wrong with it. You I, don't keep them I, in a plastic bag like I do? No, nah, man. He keeps <laughs> them in a backpack for my Christ's sake. I give him, I give him. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm like looking bad with that stuff. All you guys with oh, your humidors oh, and your fancy Belveda balls. Oh, <laughs> Belveda <laughs> balls? <laughs> balls? <laughs> yeah, the balls, right? I thought they're the balls, aren't they? No, they're packets. No, they're packets. <laughs> no, the Belveda balls. They're gel balls. The oh, gel, gel balls? balls. Yeah, 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 yeah Belveda yeah. balls, and I keep it optimal. But you're supposed to put those in a little cartridge, my friend. No, I just sprinkle. And, and I sprinkle them around. Sprinkle. He sprinkles his balls. <laughs> sprinkle my <laughs> balls around. <laughs> All right, Nelson's gonna stick. I gotta stick, and then uh, we gotta wrap up. Where the so, hell is this Nelson, going? you want to go for? You want the rocks, paper, scissors to go first? Or yeah, what? I like that. All right, one, two, three, go. All right, oh, fuck that's you me. Go. All right, cool. <laughs> I had the Black Work Studio Killer B. It is a petite Corona. It is a four and a half by forty-six. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Maduro binder and filler on Nicaraguan. Complexity and flavor and balance, nines. <laughs> All the way straight through. Story Geeks, when you see, seek out this stick, just before you cut it, look at the cap. A lot of rollers have paid great attention to the cap. It's super cool. Check it out. Uh, you can also is that a triple go. Cap? What? Is that a triple cap? Yeah, but it's like swirled. It's a swirled I'm looking cap. at it. Yeah, it's, it's super I'm cool, man. I'm looking at the photo right, right now. Good like, answer. Okay. Right? All so right. it's super cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, it, another one that from that line that's super cool there is the Green Hornet. It's got the Candela. A little bobble mm. pole wrapper thing going on. I think that's cool. It's such a little touch. I just want to pay homage to the roller who took his or her time to actually do that. Now let's get to the stick. It starts off with a blast of black pepper. Then you get notes of wood and chocolate that reach to the surface. Black pepper kicks in on the retro hail. This is one of those retro hails where you want to go a little bit slower and you want to just have it linger a little bit longer. Um, notes of wood and cocoa, totally enjoy enjoyable. And yes, as well as notes of wood and cocoa, you do get black label, more pepper. Brian, is that pretty accurate in that description? That's very accurate. Anything I just wanna, smoked it. Yeah. Is there anything you want to add to that? It. No, I mean, that, that's a full body cigar, a lot of Lajero, you know, yeah. in that cigar. It does pack a punch. Yeah. Um, but I think you're spot on with the cocoa. The It's not a, I mean, it's not a smooth, creamy cigar. Nope. By any means. Nope. Um, but you do get that woodsy, the cocoa, definitely black pepper. I mean, James and Angela, they do a great job with the spice. You yep. know, James is a great master blender. Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. Get yourself a box split. And the only reason why I say box split, because you want to save your extra little bit of scratch you have to partake in the Green Hornet as well. Uh, so if you were to put a little box together for yourself, get yourself the Killer Bee and the Green Hornet combo. And if you love pepper on the retro hail, you will not be disappointed. Nelson. Look at what I discovered. What? I've discovered something beautiful. What? This thing is also available in the Lonsdale, the Black Works Studio Killer Bee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have it in the Lonsdale, six and a half by uh, 40, uh, six and a half by 42. Nice. Nice. I'm, I, I, hey, I'm just trying. Hey, I'm finding the small gauges where I can find them just because of my commute. Oh, I just, we know. I have a small gauge. I know. Your life is so hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you, you know I love you, buddy. All right, Nelson, final stick, and then we're going to wrap yeah, up. Yeah, I'm going with Mike Bellity's Imperia is Lero, uh, which I uh, actually oh. discovered uh, at Churchill's. Um, it's good. Oh, a, yeah. It's funny when you when you pick it up. Uh, and it's, I, ha- I just hadn't noticed it on the shelf before and actually had the chance to meet Mike there. And I said, hey, like, pick me up one of your sticks. So I tried the um, the Toro, mm-hmm. uh, which was a 6x50. It has a beautiful, oily, deep chocolate brown, like just those sticks, like you just you know it's going to be good kind of stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an Ecuadorian Habano. Uh, it's, it's Dominican uh, binder and filler. Uh, not only does it look chocolatey, it gets chocolatey right off the right off the start. Um, this oh, yeah. big abundance of chocolate flavors in the beginning. Uh, as I got through it, it went into a little bit of coffee and chocolate, which was fantastic, and even even more fantastic on the uh, the retro hail. Um, the finish it got a, it it kind of went away with the sweetness, and it got a little bit uh, woody and earthy uh, as I went through it. So there was definitely some less uh, sweetness on it. Uh, I would say this on a complexity scale is is closer to an eight eight point five uh, because it was just I loved the experience. It wasn't the same all the way through. Uh, it was definitely very different on the finish. Um, so this for me, this stick was a, a box worthy, and I'm definitely going to go buy, back and actually buy a box from Brian. So I'll be buying a box today, most likely. His his was it, pita is the smaller size. The, pita, yeah, yeah. pita is a smaller his size. His pitas on all his line are freaking. Do you have any? Awesome yeah, sticks, yeah. yeah they're awesome I'm gonna try sticks. one today. They're awesome sticks, and it's not to to say like you know to to like you know especially like Drew, you gotta get yourself on some Peters on the Bellity line, the MLB cigar ventures. Yeah, I don't get, we don't get those here in Texas. You better well, send me some. That's because everything's Come big on. in Texas. You can't be smoking that's little right. Peters. You know what I mean? <laughs> he you smokes seven inch cigars. <laughs> you got your boots and all that stuff. All right, I hear you, Drew. Right. I wanna thank you for your time and expert commentary as always. Brian, thank you for appearing here in studio. Please don't be a stranger to the Story Geek Show. And I also personally want to thank you very much for when you sponsored Cigar Club Radio. Had started me on this incredible journey of um, disrupting cigar media, I I am sure. Um, Especially after this episode. But uh, there we go. Email all of your complaints to Drew at StogieGeeks.com. If you have a little bit of a complaint, show Nelson some love. Nelson at StogieGeeks.com. And Nelson, thank you for appearing Thanks here for in the studio me. as well. Story Geeks, remember we keep the conversation going all week long. Go to StoryGeeks.com, Facebook.com forward slash Story Geeks. Follow us on social media. You know where to email all of your complaints to. Behind every cigar, I want to remind you there's a story worth knowing. Get out there to your local brick and mortar. Make some friends and stay safe during these crazy times. Story Geeks, we'll see you next time. Peace.